So I've just started a rep. This is a bit of a different Try Get Tuesday, but I'm gonna try and give it to you during this little hill rep. It's not like a hard hill rep, it's just a high aerobic, a little bit of a grind up a hill. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about carbon plated shoes, what I wear, and how much difference they make to me. A bit busy. Maybe poor choice in road. Anyway, so yesterday I did a brick session on the main D velodrome and it was decent. But I always do it in carbon plated shoes because it protects my calves and I like to feel a race representative or good representation of what I'm gonna feel after the bike leg on during the race. So anyway, I think where do I start? I use the next percent, they fly next percent percent with the Zoom X phone. And I use them because I've used them for the past couple of years. They're a pretty trusty shoe. I've tried the ASICs, just didn't get on as well, they weren't as comfortable, etc. etc. So how much difference do they make to me? About five seconds per K, I reckon. I'm quite a good responder to it. But it's, it's not the same for everyone. Some people, it's a lot less. I think, yeah, like I say, I'm a high responder. So I'd like to think that they work quite well for me. But what's the downfalls of wearing carbon plated shoes in training? I think for me, they can, they can decondition the legs. So they're not quite as good for conditioning the lower limbs. Like, like I say, they protect them. But that doesn't necessarily mean that if you're doing a large portion of your ride, sorry, a large portion of your run uh, volume in them, it's probably not doing enough for your lower limbs. But yeah, each to their own. The other thing is that I'm doing kind of two sessions of running a week, like hard sessions. And one of them is the brick session. So that's the one that I wear the carbon plated shoes. The other one, I just wear normal shoes to get that conditioning. I think last year I did too much running in the carbon shoes and I didn't really see what I was hoping to off of the bike. Um, so I think these big brick sessions are far more representative of hopefully what I'm gonna be able to do. Anyway, let me know in the comments below, what do you use? Do you rate the carbon shoes for training and racing or both? And yeah, what's your ratio of like training to not in them, I guess, if that makes sense. Pretty poor wording. I'm working a little bit too hard. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Turns out I'd forgotten to change it into the small ring.